Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf. And we are here with Star who is actually about to have her pups. So we better hurry up and get back to that den. But I, I want to make sure... I think we have a fair bit of food. I think we'll be alright. So we better just hurry up and uh, try and make it home. Because uh, she's about to have her pups. In fact, she's going to have them in the morning. Uh, so yeah, I don't actually know where Crow is. Um... This time it seems to be Star who wandered away, and I actually did time skip again like I said I was going to, so they are now two years and 11 months, and they will be three years uh, come morning, and uh, that is also, oh, Crow must be back at the den. Um, that is also, of course, when their pops will be born, once they, once they are, uh, have reached their own first birthday, then they'll have, or their own, uh, their own birthday, then they'll be having their own pups, um, who will be born into this world, so hopefully... Crow seems to be pretty close. I think we'll be all right. We just got to kind of trot our way back home and we will uh, hopefully have our pups. And I, it should be, I mean, I tested it quite a few times and it seems to be working all right. I'm probably, okay, we're back in our territory. I may try and catch a rabbit on the way just to get a little bit of a little extra food. Never hurt anyone here, especially in the world of wolves. So let's see if we can manage to sneak up on a rabbit. And hopefully we can. There's one right here. There's lots around. So that's a, that seems to be a good thing. And like I mentioned in the last wolf video, we will actually be um, we'll actually be uh, time skipping again once we have the pups and uh, just kind of letting that go by a little bit faster because otherwise it takes them like seven months to grow up and there's no way we could get the series done in any reasonable amount of time. My apologies for that, um, <laughs> but what I was saying is there's no way we could get through the series in any reasonable amount of time if we didn't time skip because that would take hours upon hours upon hours to play through and we don't have that kind of time on our hands. So we'll be skipping one month with every episode, which means that it'll take the pups about seven episodes to grow up and I still think that's quite a bit of time to be able to spend with them. I think we'll, we'll be absolutely fine with that. Um, it's almost morning so let's actually abandon the hunt and get ourselves back home i don't know what happens if you're not at the den when it comes time to have pups but i don't really want to risk that so hopefully that's crow pretty close here and we're just gonna scoot our way back because come morning which is any moment now which hopefully we'll make it to the den oh here we go summertime in the living is easy so that me should mean there's lots of prey. It's pretty easy. And we have three cubs born. Okay. So we don't really know their genders yet. They don't actually tell us what their, their genders are or what they look like before, uh, before we get there. So I think we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to call them Evergreen and Birch. And hopefully they will, um, hopefully they will match their names pretty well. And I think we'll go ahead and call one Oak. There we go. And um, we'll let it load in and it should show us what they look like. And so we, it looks like we have a brown pup and a gray pup. So I think there's several different colors they can be. I don't know how much it's influenced by the parents' coats, um, but I, we'll have to see what they look like. So let's quickly make our way back to the den and, uh, and see what they look like and find out what their genders actually are. Um, wait, what? 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 Wait. Wait, where? Where? Holy nope! What? Excuse you? Excuse you? Pups get in the den? What? 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 That's a freaking camper right at the den! What is happening? What is happening here? This is not how you sightsee. It's not even a hunter, it's a camper or something, or just a normal random human. Oh my goodness. I'm so shaken right now, you guys. I'm really shaken. What is happening? Um, it seems to be walking away. 
Well, that'd be a sight to stumble on in the wild, but I imagine they're pretty fortunate they didn't actually get attacked because wolves usually aren't aggressive towards humans, but I imagine if one came traipsing by bat uh, that close to a wolf den, they'd be in some pretty serious danger because wolves don't take defending their pups lightly. Um... So this is Oak, he is male, and he it looks to be black in color. I think we have, is that another black pup? Birch, female, so maybe not the most fitting name. And then who, all right, who is up here? There's another human, holy moly. Okay, um, and Evergreen is also male. So Birch is female, right? Birch is female, what is even happening? If we die now, I will be highly upset. But, yeah, I think that's just the random human that wandered by. I'm so confused, you guys. I'm so completely confused. Why is there a human near our den that's not even a hunter? I mean, I'm thankful it's not a hunter, but holy cow, you guys. Um, wow, what, what, a, what a beginning. Um, I think we're gonna look and see if we can find a rabbit or something down here, possibly. Because if we can, that'd be a nice little snack that would hopefully not take too much, um, not, not take too much energy to catch and that wouldn't, uh, wouldn't fill us up quite as much as others so we wouldn't be wasting food. We're not gonna kill that cow unless we have to, uh, but yeah, so rabbits seem to be fairly plentiful, so that's a good thing. Um, I think we'll wander this way. Here we go. And we'll have to make it over here, I think. Oh, there it is. I see it. And I'm keeping my eye out for planes, because these guys have had problems with that. Um, oh, and this guy is... Oh, no, not quite tiring out. It looked like he was, but he faked us out there, so we're going to keep after him. And hopefully here... Let's see. Come on. Where'd you go, little bunny? You are going to be my snack. There we are. And we should have him here. Yep, we do indeed. 57, 58 rabbits. Wow, Star, you've been busy. It looks like these guys have been a fairly surviving off of rabbits. So, um, they probably have gotten quite good at catching them. Uh, anyway, we're gonna head back to the den here, and uh, hopefully random human is gone. Um, I don't think, uh, don't think Star took too kindly to that. Uh, I imagine that was a little bit shocking and kind of upsetting to her. Um, she's fairly, fairly shaken by that, I imagine. So, let's come this way, and we shall see. I think that's everybody back at the den there. Yep, the den is in two. There is a cow, but we're gonna leave it alone. And, like, why, why are there, why are there campers by the den? I'm very confused and concerned. Okay, so we have one pup, that's Birch, she's doing well. And Evergreen is doing well as well. And then, uh oh, where is. Okay, somebody's up here. Is that. Yes, that would be Oak, and he's doing well as well. So I think everybody seems to be doing pretty fine. So. Really? Really? This is how this is gonna happen. Why are you camping in the Arctic anyway? It's really cold up here. I mean, I guess it is the summertime. Maybe it's a researcher. Let's hope that's a researcher, you guys. <laughs> let's let's hope that was a researcher who came to study the wolves and, and not just a random human who happened to be camping in the Arctic and who was like, oh, here's a wolf den. Let me go check it out. You guys, if you ever find something like that in the wild, please don't approach it. Get your camera, take pictures at a safe distance. If you find baby animals, be very, very careful, even if they look abandoned, because I know some species, like like deer, will often leave fawns hidden, and they know to stay hidden. And uh, just because it doesn't look like there's a parent nearby, the baby is actually designed to stay by itself. And so, just if you find if you find a baby animal and it really does seem abandoned, uh, I would call the your probably your local animal control and, and find out what to do there. And um, find out from them. Don't just go, oh no, it must be orphaned and needs a home. It may not actually need a home, and you messing with it could do more harm or put it in more danger. And it's really, in most cases, it would be very... Really? Really? Unless you know what you're doing, then it's really... Unless you actually know what you're doing, which the average part of the population won't... 
Um, most people who happen to find animals that they think are orphaned really don't, unless you're like a forest ranger who's trained in that or something, or an animal rescuer who knows what to do. Then don't just uh, don't just go in and try and rescue the animal. Get get help from someone who's actually experienced in that kind of thing, because you don't want to do more harm than good. Uh, I know a lot of people mean well, but that's probably not the best thing to do. And well-meaning camper here, he was probably just super excited about seeing a wolf den, is kind of... Really? Seriously? What? What? I'm scared to follow because I'm worried there will be a hunter with you. Crow! Crow! <laughs> really? What are you doing? I don't even know if I can click... Or what I should do. I imagine that would not be a good thing. I don't want to get in trouble for attacking a human. But seriously. Seriously. I really, for your sake, hope you're actually a researcher. Because you're in a very dangerous spot if you're not. You're very thankful that this is this is a, a wolf being controlled by a human. <laughs> and not an actual wild wolf in the wild whose instinct is to protect the den. Because... You'd be in a lot of trouble if that was actually the case. Why am I so thirsty? Okay, I gotta get food and water. And this human is still here. I'm not very comfortable with this. Uh, I I'm so confused. I don't even know what to think. And I I'm pretty worried. Okay, how are the pups doing food-wise, too? Everyone's doing decently well, so it would probably be good if someone went and got food, though. Uh, so maybe that'll be us here. Maybe we'll run and get some food from this carcass here, assuming there's actually food left at this carcass, and it's not just some, some bones that still happen to smell good. Um, hopefully there is actually meat to be had. Um, and yes, there is. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to actually take some food with us, and hopefully we can... Uh, Bring this back and cache it somewhere near the den so that we can dig it up. We can feed the pups and then dig it up. I still can't believe there's just a freaking human wandering by our den, though. That's insane. I I've never in this game... I think I've seen non-hunter humans, like, twice in this game. I, I seriously think I've seen non-hunter humans, like, twice. I don't even know what their purpose is. I think they're kind of just here to freak you out. And I'm incredibly confused. So I think she's gone further away. That's a good thing. And I just... Seriously, human. <laughs> Even if you are a research, that's a researcher, that's not a smart way to go about things. Um, I did actually, though, recently watch a documentary by BBC about a guy who went up to the Arctic. And who... Oh, there's one of the pups. There's two of the pups. Um, but he went up to the Arctic and... Uh, let's bury this... And he actually was basically accepted by a wolf pack. They they got used to him and they did actually, like, he was able to go and interact with the pups at one point. <laughs> so, or like, to go near them, at least, and the, and the wolves didn't attack him. But that was, this was a guy who was a researcher who knew what he was doing. He was very careful. He went up there to film. He wasn't actually going to mess with the pups or, or anything like that. And he was very cautious about the way he did things. And he got some amazing footage. But uh, it is true, especially with wolves that live in areas away from where there aren't a lot of humans. Sometimes they can be a lot more curious. Um, but in areas where they are more used to humans or where they've gotten acclimated to... Or, or in areas where they are used to humans, a lot of the time they will... Uh, they will try to avoid them still, but if they get acclimated, that's when you start having issues. Because when a wolf is acclimated to humans and it lives in a populated area, then it might start seeing humans as a food source, whether that be taking food that they leave behind or downright attacking them. And that's when you start to have problems, and that's when you have um, a wolf that may potentially have to be put down because someone was feeding it and now it doesn't have its healthy ear of humans anymore. So... Um, it's kind of, it's a problem. It's really a problem. Um, how do you, I think it's G to unbury. There we go. All right. So we got some food from that. That's good. But yeah, so that's why it's not good to feed wildlife because most of the time you end up creating a bigger problem for them and you may end up having 
causing a situation where the animal then becomes a threat and has to be put down because now it's attacking people or it's no, it won't go away. It's being returned to civilization. And unfortunately, that can be a big problem. So that's why you never want to feed a wild animal. Um, you want to be very careful. You don't want We don't want animals to be used to us. We want them to retain their healthy fear of us because that's what keeps them alive in most cases. Uh, so it's very important to be really cautious. Oh my goodness. Around wild animals, with th which this human is not. This human... This human needs to learn a serious lesson, because that's also, when researchers do it, that's not how they go about it. They don't acclimate the animals to them. That's why they use tranquilizers if they have to collar a wolf. It's not like they go befriend the wolf. They'll knock it out and put the collar on it while it's asleep, and then let it go again so that it retains its fear of them. So, <laughs> this human is causing problems. I'm not very comfortable. Why is this such... Why? Why is this happening? I am so confused. I really want this human away from my pups. Seriously. No. Please, leave them alone. <laughs> leave them alone. I wish the pups would go in the den when you bark at them too, because that would uh, make me feel a lot safer than uh, just having them wandering around with a human walking around. Um... That, that doesn't make me feel very safe for them. So hopefully these guys are all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know where Crow got off to either. I think Crow may be right up here somewhere possibly. Um, I think Crow is up here probably by the human. Hi, Crow. Are you, are you as concerned about this as I am? I don't actually know. He did bolt pretty fast when that human walked up to him. But... Oh my goodness, I don't even know what's happening at this point anymore. Um, hopefully this does not continue to cause problems over the time skip, because we will be skipping to one month, or we will be skipping over a month here, and uh, hopping in right at the change of the month, and hopefully these guys will still be doing well, and not be too acclimated to humans. <laughs> um... Yeah, hopefully all will still be going well, but uh, for right now, I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.